Remember to subscribe for daily top Reddit stories. Okay, story time. Rich people of Reddit who married someone significantly poorer. What surprised you about their previous way of life? My so said today I made rent meaning today I've earned enough accumulated enough to pay the rent and I realize that this is a monthly accomplishment to someone with no fixed income salary. I fell in love with my uni best friend who really didn't have any money. When I got a job for my birthday I decided to plan a holiday and offer to bring him along. He doesn't know I'm in love with him at all. But maybe I should tell him. My husband grew up in a family where they were comfortable but on a strict budget. Six kids and mom on disability. My family had no budget. One day we were at the grocery store and he always insists on walking up and down every aisle. I finally lost it because he was taking so long and asked him why he did it. Growing up we could only spend $100 a week on groceries for all of us. I always had to put what I wanted back because we couldn't afford it. Now I can afford whatever I want so I like to look at everything I could have. Took him 10 years to tell me this. I felt like a terrible person. Edit number 2. I've had a few people, very few, comment that $100 a week is a huge budget and how is that a stretch. We live in a city with an extremely high cost of living. It's in the top 30 in the world. Getting a family of 4 fed for that much weekly would be a huge stretch here and his family did an amazing job. Sandwiches. When I made him a sandwich I only put one thin slice of meat in it. He couldn't believe that was how I had sandwiches growing up. My experience is from the opposite perspective. I was the poor one. It absolutely floored me how my wife acts when something broke like a car. Appliances. Clothes. Etc. As a child living below the poverty line. Replacing a tire or other necessities was a disaster. Requiring tricky trade-offs in the budget or just plain acceptance of just how boned you were. When my wife's phone broke. I went into full panic mode while she shrugged and said. We can just a new one this afternoon. And then we did. When we moved in together. I found out that she was putting her share of the rent on her credit card. With no real plan for how to pay it off. Edit. If you're coming in here to say you can't pay rent on a credit card or you are her plan. Lem save you a few keystrokes. Don't. Honestly. Food insecurity. When we were first married she would get visibly uneasy if the food in the house was running low. She never overate or anything. She was just always concerned about it. A lot of times when she was younger. She went hungry. On the humorous side though. She hates camping. Her answer is always the same. I camp because it was fun. She camp because they couldn't afford hotels. I'm from the poorer family. Not super poor. But my in-laws have a stupid amount of money so by comparison I'm very poor. But I think I can answer for her. We have two young kids. And my wife was shocked when I said we should look for clothes and toys for them at local flea markets and garage sales. The idea never occurred to her that we could save money by getting some gently used items. She had never even been to a garage sale in her life. She has grown to love them and now questions whether it is worth it to buy any item new or not before running to Amazon or a store. Her parents think it's disgusting we make our kids wear clothes that another child had before. But they don't pay my bills. Hamburger helper. She hates it because it would be her meal 5 times a week growing up. I had never even seen HH before I went to college and love that stuff. 10 for $10 deals are awesome. The prevailing mindset in his community growing up that insurance was something only rich people had. Not health insurance. Mind you, well, not just health insurance. Auto insurance. Going without it was a way of life for most everyone he knew. Long term dating. Pets. I was always surprised by the number of pets she and her family had living in the trailer and how much of a share of their income they spent on them. I didn't marry this woman. But when we started dating, she always wanted to chill at my place. Never hers. Which was fine. But she gained 35 pounds in just like a few months of dating. She was 100 pounds when we started dating. Not that it was a bad thing. 1. I am a chubby man and 2. I was just glad she wasn't pregnant. Anyway, turns out her family couldn't like, afford dinner sometimes. So suddenly she had a place to eat every night and gorged herself. 
I baited a 1%er briefly. She was surprised I willingly went inside fast food restaurants. Edit. Since people are saying 1% is still a huge range in income I just looked up a daddy pulls and dollar sign 10 million a year. I'm from an upper middle class American family and my husband is from a poor SC Asian family. It is hard for me to wrap my head around how poor they really were when he was growing up. He told me about eating only rice with sugar for meals because they couldn't afford meat. They were probably living off less than 50 cents day for a family of 5 at times. Credit cards were avoided. For me growing up, we were encouraged to get a credit card in our name and use it as much as possible in order to build credit. There was always money to pay it off each month. So it made sense to 1. Build credit and 2. Collect airline miles or whatever the reward was back in the day. When we got together, she always used cash or a debit card. She had a credit card for emergencies and avoided using it otherwise. It took a long time to get her over her aversion skepticism. We were fortunate to have two good paying jobs. Though it also taught me a healthy appreciation for what it means to have a financial cushion. Not rich but with a partner who was raised by a teen teen mom and grew up poor. Sometimes I just want rice and vegetables for dinner. That's a no from her. She won't go back. I am not well off but my stepfather is. I was raised by a single mom who spent money on everything and bills were always behind. She just couldn't manage her money at all. In her 50s she met and married a multi-millionaire. We are in middle America so that goes further than maybe in a lot of areas. They have given themselves $10,000 a month budget to live on. Living on interest. Own their home. Anyway once my mom met him and they got all her finance situated and paid off she won't spend a penny. He spends like it is going out of style. He has actually begged me to take her shopping to get clothes and accessories. She won't do it. She spent more when she was a single mom with nothing. It makes no sense to me. At least buy a new outfit. She is hell bent to not use a penny of his money. They barely even have any groceries. If they have anything it is because he buys it for them. She is a retired nurse that gets a retirement and SS but she won't spend anything. She lives poorer now than any other time in her life. When the family had people over for dinner. If they ended the prayer before the meal with F. H. B. Amen. It was a signal to let the children know that they don't have enough food for everyone. So take smaller servings and let the guests get a regular serving. FHB equals family. Hold back. They were always generous to their friends and didn't let their lack of funds embarrass themselves when doing so. I am on the other side as I married a girl from a rich family. Although we both earn the same and I tend to worry about money savings future. Through the years I have realized that she worries less about it and still saves more and spends less than me. I feel like coming from a lower middle class family makes me think about saving more but at the same time I spend money on things as I could not have them all before I got my own job. <laughs> my partner and I are both poor. But different kinds of poor. She's never been homeless or not had enough to eat. While I have. She's extremely frugal and hates buying anything we don't need. I feel a desperate need to stock up if we have any extra money and it's a fight for me not to fill our house with canned and dry goods in case we don't have enough money to buy food next month for some reason. It makes no sense but my instinct is to hoard food because there just was never enough of it around growing up. I'm not rich at all but my husband came from a very poor Mexican village. He told me he used to shower outside because there was no in-house plumbing and use leaves as toilet paper. I mean, there's poor and there's my husband's previous life poor. He's been living in the US for 12 years now but when we first met it was so interesting seeing life through his childlike eyes. Going to the cinema was a huge event for him. Eating food up in a microwave was a totally foreign concept. And staying at fancy hotels when we went on vacation was like whoa. I still see him surprised by things now and then and it just reminds me how much I take my middle status class for granted. She and her mother lived with her grandfather to not be homeless because her grandfather owned a house. She was putting community college payments on her credit card and building debt with it. I paid off her credit cards when we were dating and she cried from me being so nice. It was only like 1300 bucks. I bought a condo. Then we got married. Then we bought a house. I never really considered myself rich until I started dating her and learned that a trip to Wendy's was a treat. I grew up middle class. 
and we are currently middle class. He I came from a relatively wealthy family, new money, my dad started his own business and grew up poor, and my wife came from a lower income blue collar family. We got married out of college and neither made much money in the beginning. My biggest surprise was how she wanted to spend money. She was shocked when my mom bought her $100 plus pair of jeans for a birthday. She couldn't wrap her mind around spending that much on jeans. But she wanted a motorcycle. For me. Which I don't ride in the first place. And then a new furniture set. And then a new bed. And then a new car. She wasn't concerned about savings or retirement. And she never wanted my parents money for any of it. We are both way too proud of that. It took a long time for her to come around to having an emergency savings account. Focusing on debt and not needing the other sheet. She eventually realized that her parents wouldn't be in such a terrible situation because their spending habits are horrible. She still has it come out sometimes though. We recently paid off my car and she immediately thought I should get a new car. He was making good money but came from a poor family. One thing that surprised me was the lack of budgeting. No knowledge of a 401k Roth IRA. Retirement seemed like something that he'd never get to do. So even though he made good money he was starting to rack up credit card debt. Now he's much better at it than I am. He adores budgeting and looks forward to fire. Edit. Fire is financial independence. Retire early there's a sub attached to this idea of financial independence. Sorry about the confusion. He One of my exes could pull in a lot of money. Easily twice or thrice what I could. He was so incredibly bad at saving this money. Down to, say, setting himself up as a company to avoid paying higher rate of tax. But then paying a large amount each month to an accounting company to handle his taxes. Which he'd do himself anyway because he didn't trust them to get it right. He'd pay for taxis from one end of the city to another or hire cars rather than use public transport. Flights cancelled? Book new ones. Never bother to claim back on insurance. Buy a sports car. Wreck it. Sell it for scrap. He'd work contracts and then take time off to work on his own startup. But spend every weekend just going out and buying drugas and booze. I thought it was really fun and wild at first. Haha. <laughs> Money really means nothing to you. Semicolon but when we became a long term couple I started feeling like his mother. Man. Will you not just fill out the insurance paperwork? My wife was born and raised in the Soviet Union. She still goes crazy for fresh fruit like it's the most extravagant luxury. I was with a girl for a while who grew up in a pretty broken home. Still surprises me just how bad her spending habits are. She racks up credit card debt like it's nothing. More of a funny incident, but I was the poor one. My husband, at the time still boyfriend, took me out to a very nice restaurant. Waiter asked if I want pepper on my Caesar salad that was just made table side. I said sure and he goes about it. Thing is, I didn't know you had to say stop. My husband slowly realizes this, but decides to see it play out. He did eventually say that I need to say stop. I just thought a Caesar was had this way as it was my first time even eating a salad that wasn't just iceberg and ranch dressing. It still tasted fine. Just a little bit too much pepper ha ha. My wife earned many times more than I did when I was a high school teacher back when we were dating. She sometimes would drive my 10 years old primer black. Stick shift Honda Civic that my cousin lent me until I could buy another car. She was blown away how aggressively mean people are to you when you drive an ugly old car. When she got out of the car the spell lifted. I got a lot of respect from her for that. She seemed to think I was a son for not turning sour over it. I was constantly getting pulled over by cops and let go. Targeted by road rage. And also pedestrians felt too comfortable engaging with me. I drive a new Honda. One year old. Now and it is so different. I drive the same but probably drive a bit more aggressively now that I can't hear the wind roaring by when I'm going over 40 miles per hour. I haven't been pulled over and haven't had a negative interaction on the road in a long time. Also, my wife now enjoys trading cars with me. Making financial decisions based around the 3 paycheck month. If you're paid every 2 weeks, most months you get 2 paychecks, and all of your monthly bills and budgeting is based on those 2 paychecks. But twice a year there are 3 paydays in a month, and that's when you can actually solve problems. That's when you can get the car registered, or fix the dryer, 
or get a cat spade. The other 10 months you're doing maintenance and trying to scrape by. 3 paycheck months you can actually try to fix problems. It doesn't directly relate to the amount of money they had. I don't think. But, their place was always filthy. I mean. Dog sheet everywhere. My significant other lived with his mom sometimes. But would rotate between her and his father and both places were this way. Dishes piled up. Floors were grimy. The place. S. Stunk of dog pee and cigarette smoke. One time. I used the bathroom at one of his parents places. And had to spread my feet while sitting on the toilet to avoid stepping in period blood. I mean. It was so disgusting. My significant other was baffled when. After we first got married and moved in with each other, every day he would come home to her. Generally, I'm not perfect, spotless home. Now, on the flip side, I once dated a guy whose stepfather was a lawyer, so they lived a lavish lifestyle. The only thing that he was surprised about when it came to my lifestyle, was that I did not eat pizza with knife, fork, and a glass of wine. LOL. Not super rich by any means but my husband said he'll always be surprised about the following. How I lived off of 13k in 2011 resiliency to survive financially and pursue my dreams of being the first college graduate how I didn't know what spinach was or tasted like until our first few dates, in addition to hella other leafy greens. What I learned in this thread is rich people don't like spending and poor people spend money like it is nothing. Please read the edit at the end of this post. Probably how often she shopped at Ross, Grocery Outlet, and other discount stores. I shopped at Whole Foods and bought my clothes at Macy's or online. For grocery shopping, we now go to Grocery Outlet mostly with a trip to Whole Foods every once in a while. It's significantly cheaper at Grocery Outlet but checking expiration dates is a must. Aside from my hobbies, I find I spend a lot less on groceries and clothes now which in turn allows me to spend more on my hobbies. She never forced her lifestyle on me and I appreciated that. Edit. I'm not super rich. I feel like this post now looks like a failed attempt at a humble brag. I never meant to offend anyone. I work as a software developer in Silicon Valley but there are people with 20 times my wealth here that would scoff at my salary. I also live in one of the most expensive cities in the country but I was born here and I cannot leave. My intention was to show how my lifestyle differed with the lifestyle of my fiancé. That's it. Also, I never cared for expensive clothes so thank you all for telling me Macy's is for poor people. I'm a watch guy and not a clothes guy. She lived in the desert without air conditioning. Oddly, my wife's family and upbringing was much poorer than mine. Surprisingly, she is the one who has poor spending habits. I am the frugal one. I always weigh the inherent value quality of the purchase versus the cost. She never does. She doesn't think much ahead of the basic monthly paycheck cycle. She'll spend money on junk. I'll wait. And wait. Then buy something really nice as opposed to some cheap pose that merely fills a gap in the moment. It has been the cause of many an argument between us. Shoot. I gotta go serve justice. Thanks for listening. If I spark joy, hit me with a like and subscribe. I make new videos every day. Till then, check out another video or leave a comment. I love you. Have a great day you confident top tier person. Tear